BBC boss Tim Davey has set a date to meet a campaign group battling to restore free TV licenses for the over 75s. The corporation's director general will meet Silver Voices chief Dennis Reed on October the 13th. Mr. Reid hopes to press the media executive to thrash out a solution with ministers, saving all over 75 the £157. 50 annual fee. I will be suggesting possible short-term options to the Director General and will expect a constructive response, he said ahead of the showdown, which will take place over a video call because of the coronavirus pandemic. Although the Director General has stated that he has no plans to reverse the policy of his predecessor, this leaves a big canvas of options for settling the dispute with the BBC. While maintaining our political campaign to force the government to restore free licenses for all over 75s, we also want immediate action to support the hundreds of thousands of older people who have been severely impacted by this cruel policy. Close quote. Silver Voices has consistently pointed the finger of blame for the row at the Conservatives, who broke a manifesto pledge to protect re licenses until 2022. The Tories promised at the 2017 election to protect over 75's free licenses for the rest of that parliament, which was due to run for five years. But the BBC had already been handed responsibility for funding the lifeline from June 2020, under a deal agreed in 2015. It said keeping licences free for all over 75s would cost £745 million by 2021-22. The corporation announced restrictions from August 1, meaning only over 75s who receive pension credit are eligible. An estimated 3.7 million people have been robbed of the benefit. The Mirror has fought to save the lifeline, with more than 18,000 readers backing the fight by completing coupons in the paper. Mr. Reid warned that, if next M-O-N-T-H-S oct meeting went badly, he could recommend his members stop paying the license free altogether. He told the Mirror, if I meet a negative solid wall on October the 13th, we will consider stepping up our action by all over 60s to include point-blank refusal to pay the fee. This would seriously undermine the credibility of the whole license enforcement system. But I will go into the discussions with optimism, a BBC spokesman said last week. A BBC spokesman said, it was the government who decided to stop funding free TV licenses for the over 75s. The BBC boards believes the fairest option is to help the poorest old pensioners. Around 1.5 million households could get free TV licenses if someone is over 75 and receives pension credit. Critically, it is not the BBC making that judgment about poverty, it is the government who set and control who is eligible for pension credit and what level of payments are made.